The content of this film was developed in a series of daily workshops during the summer of 1983. The words and lyrics were created by the children or evolved from their improvisations. thought about that bomb um I, you know the first time i started thinking about the bomb was like you know when i got into my nines and my tens i never really thought about the bomb otherwise no i never really thought of the bomb no i started to think about it because i you know heard about it all over like Ronald Reagan's making the MX bomb and all that. And then it just got all to my head and then started thinking about it all the time. I really think I would feel better if I knew that the world wouldn't end like in a, in a ball of fire. I think the end of the world would look terrible. There would be people, the survivors, but they would be like scavengers, you can say. Or wild animals, of course all of the chemicals left, you know, from all the destruction, it would, like, form them into another kind of species or something. Well, the idea of the end of the world really does scare me a lot. It really does. I get scared thinking about when I die. <laughs> I mean, I think, when I think about the war, I try not to think about it most of the time. But when I do think about it, I think about all the past words that I heard about and everything, and how many people died in them. Everything else is falling apart, but I am keeping together. I see buildings falling down while I sit there numb, dumb. My friends are passing out on drugs, but I am still awake. To keep my body moving strong, how much energy will it take? Feel my fingers and my toes, I move my muscles, current flows. My shoulders pop, my feet they glide, my hands make waves, my hips they slide. I'm Godzilla, crowds run from me, I crush buildings while I dance.
on the one hand, we shouldn't build nuclear weapons because if a bomb went off, a lot of people would be killed. On the other hand, we need the nuclear industry to provide jobs for people who would be unemployed without them. On the one hand, the nuclear industry wastes a lot of government money that could be used to help people instead. On the other hand, we can't trust the other countries to stop building bombs just when we do. On the one hand, just having the bomb around dampens the national spirit because people are afraid that it might go off and kill them. But on the other hand, the balance of power between the countries is so delicate that we don't want to upset it by trying out new policies. On both hands, wouldn't it be nice if we could mix all these different opinions and ideas together and come out with one solution? Some people fight over, you know, land and stuff like that. I mean, it's really not, it's really not rational to fight over, fight, and then you have to use a bomb that would blow up a lot of the world. That wouldn't really, that's not rational. War is a battle between countries, probably because of something stupid. I don't know what kind of stupid things, but it's just probably something stupid. How was the answer? They're advancing quickly, sir! Have you tried talking to them reasonably, sir? Yes, sir, but they're just ants, sir! They don't understand me, sir! Have you tried using small weapons, sir? Yes, sir, but it takes too long, sir! It's too expensive, sir! Headquarters is starting to complain, sir! Have you tried using chemicals, sir? Yes, sir, but there's too many of them, sir! They keep having babies, sir! Their population is growing too fast, sir! Have you asked the United Nations to intervene, sir? Yes, sir, but the United Nations says we're wrong and the ants are right, sir. Well, there's only one more solution, sir. Yes, sir, only one more solution, sir. Uh... I don't understand why uh, people fight against other people, call each other names just because they're just different colors. They, I say they have the same cells and everything in the same. All their bodies the same, so they have the same. They have a brain to think, a heart to beat with, lungs to breathe with. And I don't understand why they go about calling each other names. And you know, like it's really like two. It's a lot of racism all over the world. I got legs wild. I got a heart of fire. I got a heart of steel. I'm a great but you know, I'm a fast. When I dance, I, I dance sometimes to uh, take my problems out instead of taking them out on people. I feel much better about it. We're gonna get the ultimate power. When I think about the people who are controlling the country and think about the mom, when I think of them, I basically think that they really don't care. Because, I mean, to us, I mean, when we think about it, we think of different people and that we know and places we know. But to them, we're just sort of like numbers in a computer. I mean, this person lives here. Oh, well, this person lives here. But, I mean, we know everyone. They don't. Something's leaning on me. Something. Something's whispering in my ear. In my ear. This and finish that. Hurry there and then be here. Graduate with honors. Honors. Earn your angel wings. Angel wings. Don't lose, don't fall behind. Buy expensive things. What is everybody's hurry? What is everyone's fear? I don't have time to sleep at night. So strong is my fear.
when I think about the world I'm in and I get scared, you know, I feel chills and I feel very upset and I get depressed. But not for very long, because then I go see a movie and I'm fine. I know this, there was a creator or there is a God up there. God probably has shorts on. And in the, when it's hot, he probably wears little socks. Or no socks. He probably doesn't wear any socks. But in the winter, he probably wears a robe. And he probably wears slippers. And, he pro and I think he has a beard. This is WGOD, 7 Heaven on your dial. And this is the WGOD request line. Our phones are now open and we're taking your calls. Tell me the tunes you'd like to hear. You won't be bored with the Lord. Hello, you're on the air. Dear God, I see people fighting every day. Could you make it stop? Sorry, honey, this is just a request line. This is the Lord up above playing you songs of funk and love. Hello, you're on the air. Dear God, I see sickness and poverty everywhere. Could you make it stop? Sorry, honey, that tune's not even on the charts. Call in next week when we play our golden oldies. This is La Numera Una up in the sky. Don't you have a song you want to play for your guy? Dear God, everyone's saying the world's going to end. They say that if it's a third world war, everyone will die. My family, my friend. Doesn't anyone want to hear music today? I've got a lot of records to play. I've got all the hits lined up on my shelf. Oh, hell. I'll just dedicate this one to myself. best things in my life is my mother, my father, and the amusement parks. <laughs> and that's really it. <laughs> hey there, ladies and gents. Sam Jones here. I'd like to tell you about the greatest, most exciting park you've ever been to. The End of the World Amusement Park. Yes, yes, here you can be thrown from a building 15 stories high, dropped into a vat of boiling oil, or catapulted from a cannon into a thorn bushes. Yes, this is, this is. You'll have a ball here, yes, sir. And you can never say you regret it because you'll be dead. Shockwave, where you're in a, a building and um, you get it over the loudspeaker that a uh, nuclear blast went off and how far away it did. And then the first thing that happens is that the house um, is blown away and then your eyes melt out and then, no, no, first, first that you're, it's blown away. No, first you see a huge flash and it blinds you. Then the house is blown away, and then it becomes so hot that it burns you to a crisp. And then there's um, a show. It's called Friday the 13th Fortunes. And they tell you how and when and 
if necessary, why you're going to die. Instead of the tunnel of love, be the tunnel of hell. The water will be fire. You just flow into the fire. And when you come, there's a rainfall, but it's made out of fire. And they give you a, a special umbrella. And if that umbrella gets out on you, you get burnt. Then there's a lava room and an explosion room. And then you got to get to the cool part. It's an ice room. That's if you get there, you, you free. If you're not, you, you die. You get crispy. Then they sell you Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's something like the hell hole at Coney Island, except when you go in after you start spinning around, the floor drops. And then when the floor comes back up, the rats start to eat you alive. You know life is going to end eventually, so why not just stop it all now? There's no point in waiting for everyone else to go. If you come to the end of the world amusement park, you can choose your own death. <laughs> Pay whatever you want. You won't need money afterwards anyway. You'll be dead. <laughs> Bring friends, family, just anyone you know. Why not make it a group therapy session? <laughs> just whatever you do, be sure to come to the end of the world amusement park. It'll blow you away. <laughs> I think that the older people are, the more they care about life because they've, well, it really depends. Some people, the, all the old people I know really care a lot because they've gone through their lives and they've loved what they've done and they really care about everyone else and what everyone else does. I think old people value the earth as much as young people. They've been on it longer. They probably realize things. I don't know why old people say there should be a bomb. All oh, these children just push back and forth. Sometimes they don't even know what they're pushing. Oh, there's good ones. They help you upstairs with your groceries. The bad ones, they help you upstairs with your groceries. And then they steal them from you. Oh, the good ones play their radios nice and soft. You can't even hear them. The bad ones, they play their radios nice and loud. Almost fuck my ears. Oh, what would I give to go back to those good old days? Oh, the dancing was good. Oh, I used to be able to drink the rain. Oh, now it's all polluted. Oh, the people of this earth don't take care of this world. I swear it will blow up like a hot air balloon. Oh. I would feel kind of bad if somebody said that it was all going to end just like that, real quick and all of, all of a sudden. should remove your eyeglasses. In the event of nuclear war, they say you should get off the street, find shelter of some kind. In the event of nuclear war, they say you should not panic. After nuclear war, I don't know if I would do what they say. What I would do is try to be with loved ones. Get it over with by not trying to escape or hide. If you have to feel the war, I would try to get away, 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 try to get away. But it would be impossible. Uh, no, I don't think my parents could 
protect me against the bomb. No one can. What I love about this world is first being here, you know. Right now, I love being here. And I thank God for being here. I also love nature, how the earth was made. I really like, you know, like the trees and the birds and all that. Like, and the way the, the moon shines on the sea, you know. bothering me with all this. I mean, is it supposed to be my business? You want to talk about bicycles? That's fine. I'd be glad to tell you about my blue 10-speed Panasonic. You want to go for a walk? We can also discuss photo skating. But death and war and all that stuff isn't supposed to be my problem. Anyway, why are you bugging me with all this? I mean, I'm just a kid. I have lots of years to learn to worry. So in the meantime, if you don't mind, I'd rather learn my music, my dancing, my drumming, learn my friends, brothers, and sisters and leave the mess to you. It is so hard, hard, hard to be. 